in this video we are going to see an example of an ideal transformer in this particular problem we have asked to find out v2 i2 and i1 and when we deal with ideal transformer we always consider two ratios one of them is v1 over v2 and we equate this one to n1 over n2 and the other one is i1 over i2 and we equate this one to n2 over n1 okay now we have to decide whether this is going to be positive or negative for the first equation to decide whether it is positive or negative you have to look at this dot convention you have to have the both of the dot in both like both of them has to be in the positive or both of them has to be in the negative in order to have the positive equation okay if one of them is in the positive if the other one is negative then we are going to have negative right here but since we have both of them in the positive we are going to have positive for this one this is already in positive so we can just leave it like this and also this i1 over i2 ratio we decide whether it's going to be negative or positive by looking at the current's direction like if both of the current are entering the dot it's going to be negative if both of the current are exiting the dot it's going to be negative but if one of them is entering and the other one is exiting it's going to be positive in our case this i1 is entering the dot because you can see that it's along the dot direction right so this is entering and i2 is exiting because if we put the current direction in this way this is entering but this is the other way right so this is exiting so it means one of them is entering and the other one is exiting so this is going to be positive so this is already correct okay now from this one we can create the ratio because we already know n1 and n2 value because that's the ratio we have given right here 1 to 6 that is n1 to n2 the first value is n1 the second value is n2 so we can go ahead and write our relationship between v1 and v2 we can say v1 over v2 is equal to n1 over n2 in our case that's 1 over 6 therefore we can say this uh, v2 is going to be equal to v2 is going to be equal to 6 v1 okay this is one of the relationship and let's create the relationship for the current i1 over i2 is going to be equal to n2 over n1 in our case n2 is equal to 6 over 1 so we can just leave it like this therefore i1 is going to be equal to 6 i2 so these are the two relationships we have to know first okay now we have two unknown so what we have to do is in order to solve this problem we had to create Kirchhoff's voltage law if we apply Kirchhoff's voltage law for the first loop here we have a voltage source and uh, that's it right so this one plus v1 should be equal to zero since the current is going from negative to positive this is going to be negative to angle 118 and uh, plus v1 should be equal to zero therefore v1 must be equal to 2 118 so we solve for v1 but the question here is asking you to find out v2 and we form the relationship v2 is equal to 6 v1 so we can just multiply this one by 6 so let's go ahead and do that v2 is equal to 6 v1 so 6 times of this 6 times of 2 times 118 and if you do that you are going to get 12 118 voltage this is all the voltage right so this is our v2 value so we solved one of the problem and the next thing is it's asking for the current so we have to find out what is i2 values okay let's see how we can do this and we know that i2 is equal to v over z and if, if we know the v2 then we can find out i2 because we only have one impedance right here so we can say i2 is equal to v2 over z so v2 value we already figured it out that is 12 118 degree 118 degree voltage divided by the impedance let's avoid the unit for now so divide for the impedance that is 1.5 and uh, this angle okay let, let's put 10 degree okay this is 10 degree and if you divide this one you are going to get 8 10 or 8 okay so this is our i2 value and from this one we can find out i1 value because we know that i1 is equal to 6 i2 so we can go ahead and find this one let's go ahead and do that i1 is equal to 6 i2 and we figured out figured out our i2 value so this is going to be 6 times i2 is going to be 6 1 or 8 and if you multiply this one you are going to get 6 times 6 okay this one should be 8 right this one is 8 6 times 8 that's going to be 48 108 
degree and that's going to be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching